Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'd like to share a project that was inspired by the Paper Smooches Sparks August Trend Watch Challenge. The trend is sheer and clear. And I've already created a video about vellum, as well as etching on glass, so I thought I'd talk about another type of clear. Transparencies. I'd like to share how to use them with Paper Smooches stamps. Now I don't have anything new to share about stamping on transparencies. I know there are lots of videos about this topic. However, most of the techniques shared are for clear cards. And while these tips and information are helpful, I wanted to share another way to use transparencies for your projects. I created this card with a transparency as a design element. And I used the exact same process to create this layered transparency design on this card. So there are lots of ways to stamp on transparencies and you're going to need a couple of supplies. First you're going to need a transparency sheet. You can get these at any office supply store. I got mine from Office Depot. You're also going to want to have some inks and I use a variety of inks for my projects including pigment, chalk, and watermark inks. You also might want to have some wash, washi tape or painter's tape. You will also need your paper smooches stamps. And for this video, I'll be using this bubble from the Fascinator set. Now I might mention some other supplies throughout the video and you might want to have those on hand as well. So first, let's talk about technique. When stamping on transparencies, you want to remember that you want to stamp down and pull up with your images. Don't rock or move your block. Transparencies are really slippery, so you need to keep a steady hand and press down and pull up for a clear image. Now this is a pigment ink, and all you do is ink up your image, and then press down and pull up. Now sometimes the transparency gets stuck, so all you do is pull it off. It's real important to keep a steady hand. Now that we have the technique down, let's talk about ink. Now this was a pigment ink, and I'm going to be creating a reference sheet, just like I did for the vellum video, and um, this is going to help us compare all the inks. So this is pigment ink. And it's really great. I also use, like I mentioned earlier, chalk ink. Maybe I should stamp on here so you can see. Chalk and pigment ink are slow to um, dry, but I find that even though it's a long wait, the end result is exactly what I wanted. The colors are always vivid, and it's just a beautiful image when you're finished. So this is a chalk ink. So the positives are bright colors, and the downfall is a long wait. Now you can also use a workable fixative, which I've mentioned before. You can actually spray this on your transparency after you've stamped, and it will help the chalk and pigment inks to set and not smear. So if you're in a hurry, just use this. Another way to stamp on your transparency is by, let me pull this over so I can use a bigger sheet. Another way is that you can use watermark inks and emboss. You do the exact same thing. Press down. Well, actually, let's start with the first step. You want to run your embossing buddy over your transparency so that none of the extra powder sticks. And then you ink up your image, stamp it down, and then you run your embossing powder over it. Apparently I need to use this more. <laughs> And 
and then you would just heat set it with your gun. So you can see that the embossing powder is quite bright, but when you heat set it on transparency, it kind of loses some of its color. It's still a pretty design and a great way to um, stamp on transparencies. So for this one, it's embossing positive, great way to use some of your powders, but it loses some of its color. And a great way to use paper smooches digital images is to print them right on the transparency. And you can even emboss it after you print it. What I did was I pr took my sheet um, and printed this digital out and then just sprayed it with the workable fixative. But you can definitely emboss after that. And it's a great way to use up those digital images. They're so cute. Print it. So those are four different ways you can stamp or print your images. Now there's one other way, and I'm going to pull this paper over again. And it's actually the best way um, and recommended ink, um, and it's called Stays on Solvent Inks. And I don't know what it is about this ink, but it actually doesn't smear and it doesn't um, lose its color, but it is really great for stamping on vellum or transparencies and I actually like it for when I use sediments. So it's just a really nice ink to use for that. Now I did have a couple of fails while I was practicing for this video and I realized that solid images are harder to work with than sediments or outlines. Here is a couple here are a couple of examples. Um, you can see that I've lost part of the image or it smears a lot because you're pressing down so hard. This is part of the pie chart from the off the chart set. And I didn't really have a lot of time to practice, but I wanted to see what it would do. And I'm wondering if I put a mouse pad underneath and then press down if it would have a better um, transfer. But I just found out that solid images are harder to work with. So take note. <laughs> now I'd also like to share how I attach my transparencies to my projects. Just like vellum, there are a couple of ways you can add transparencies to your projects, and one is you can sew it on. Now because the sewing machine is large and loud, I've already done it on this reference sheet. So we can sew it on. Now for both of these cards, I use um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and it's actually great because it dries clear, and you can place several little dots all over the back. Now here's an example of the chevron from the Artist and Artisan Blocks set, and I actually want to show you that when you lay this down and press it down, that's what it's going to look like when it's glued on. But if you don't like that look, you can always turn it over and glue it down this way. So sometimes you can get two different looks. But I like the other way, so I'm going to add a couple of dots. And while this might take a while to put dots on, totally worth it because you get a coverage all over your image and you know that it's not going to come off. And it dries clear, so that's another positive. All you do is flip it over and hold it down. Tombow Mono Malta Glue. And I really like this because it lays flat and it works really well. Now another way you can attach your vellum is by stapling it. It adds that extra element 
and it's super fun. That's one of my favorite ways. You could also use washi tape. And I might not use this image with washi tape, but I really liked the two colors together. And you can use glue dots or other glue adhesive as well. So there are many ways that you can put sheer or clear on your creations. You can use sheer ribbon, creating a window card, using vellum, or creating an etched piece of glass or mirror. But I hope you will try creating some transparency designs using your paper smooches stamps. I also hope that you will join in the fun with the paper smooches sparks challenge. Please leave a comment below with a link to your creation or project. I'd love to check it out. Or link up to the Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. Maybe you will be our next featured fan. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>